Once a waterlogged environment starts happening, that's where the magic happens. Well, we are at Loch Braddon, about 14 miles west of Oma. It supplies water for a lot of Oma and John Quinn. NI Water own this area. Forest Service have a long-term lease for commercial forestry. This uh, reservoir in particular, the untreated water that we take out, it would have historically had high sediment and carbon from forestry. The colour of the water coming out of the lock before it's treated is quite dark and that's a real challenge for the fellows in the treatment works to remove that because you can't be drinking that. And we were lucky last year to have an opportunity for this area directly around the lock where Forest Service weren't going to replant uh, the compartments and they, they were going to leave them as an environmental protection area. Underneath these trees there would have been peatland many years ago so we had a really good opportunity to restore the peat. We were able to go in and re-wet the area so block up any drains and in that blocking up of those drains we're starting to retain the water back into the bog. It means that the water going into the reservoir is a bit cleaner because there's not as much erosion. Because the water in the lock is going to become cleaner, potentially they, they might be able to use fewer chemicals or less electricity for the treatment process. There's many different benefits to this project. Peatland that's dried out, it loses carbon, it acts as an emitter of carbon into the atmosphere. But whenever peatland starts to properly function again because it's wet it stores carbon so by doing this kind of restoration here and other places you're helping it with, with the climate because you're starting to, to store more carbon. Moss is a building block of peatland sort of just like we swimming pools which we want to to block up with water and then colonize with mosses. It's a really simple and straightforward piece of work to help with the climate change issue. 